So I think this would be a good time for me to attempt to figure this out. But that is the drain. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this at a glancing angle for there we are. See, I see it better, but now the now you can see where the reflection of water happens. It's uh not very not draining very well. But we don't have a plunger. Otherwise I would attempt to stick a plunger on that thing and just remove like remove the drain you know what I mean? Like try to just remove any obstruction that's on it. It seems to go slowly. Like, cause this is not one of those surfaces that absorbs water and we don't necessarily have the greatest of uh, evaporative weather. So yeah. my general idea is that it does drain, but so very, very, very slowly. And it's not the square thing. Like I didn't see where you were putting the camera. The drain that's in the in the back corner, back yeah. left corner. Yeah, that's what I was pointing at. Yeah, I. How hard can it be to make a drain? I don't think. I think there's just the sheer quantity of dirt and sand and stuff. Well, it is kind of covered right now, but I. After lunch, I'll put stuff on and I'll walk out there because it. People are out at the skate park now. Before it was raining a bit much. <laughs> That's why it's there. But the fact that it has rained a bit much today and has uh, accumulated means something. I mean, it could just be the fact that that thing is covered, but like it drains slowly. And I've seen other people complain that theirs doesn't drain, drain very well. Slowly. Yeah. But I'm starting to notice some things around here that were idly not taken care of because it wasn't a big deal. Or the previous guy didn't want to talk to the landlord about something and was like, eh, it's not affecting me. I won't do it too much. Remember the whole steam on that thing underneath the co oh, yeah. cupboard. <laughs> like, I've <laughs> the only reason I'm so up on that one is because I have had cabinets peel because there was so much steam dumped off by kettles and stuff underneath. Um, that's why I use the front burners more than I do back burners. FYI. <laughs> so where are you going today? You're actually going somewhere today. Yeah, I'm going to go to post and drop packages off and before that I have to drop by the NMQ office because I got stuff printed. And you gonna see it the I first can time. see the office. Yeah, because we don't have a printer so yeah. he put out the shipping labels Yeah. and then they printed it so he's gonna go by and pick them up and then he's gonna swing back by O's because you could just take the 19 back. My pathway honestly would probably be take the 26 into Central, grab a Metro down to um, Vesperplein, go upstairs. <laughs> uh, I would tell you to use the southeast exit, but I'm not even sure. I have to. I, you've seen me at like Vesperplein and some of the metro stops. I'm like, how? Because I don't know the name of every single street. <laughs> um, but you know what corner it's on, right? No. Okay. I will show him on. I will show him the image he needs to look for for a building. Because I've seen it. I've just never gone by it. And I don't know the exit. Because there's four exits on each corner <laughs> of Vesper Blind Metro. And then after that, you can just go right outside the office and catch the 19 and head into Ostport. Do all your stuff there at Ostport. Pick up the prescription. Go by Vinter. Do that stuff. And then from the Ostport or... Weitenbach Strat, stop, grab the 37, you can come home. <laughs> it's a nice, wonderful little circle. Because I love transit circles like that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm still debating on whether or not I just want to go with him for 
the hell of it. Just so I can get out too. bit from it got a little wet out there because it's rain. So yeah, apparently the drain was just plugged with like mud and clay. It's really odd how like <sighs> I understand that I did walk through a little bit of mud and I clapped it off out there, but this was a little bit awkward to clog up that. I think there was a leaf on it is the thing. <laughs> but even Aaron saw the uh yeah, that was that was impressive. <laughs> yeah, that was a so at least we know the the pipe past the drain spout is clear. It wouldn't have created an intense whirlpool like that if it was draining lightly. So most of the uck and pucky, that's a bad thing, is over there in the corner. And I'll clean that up as soon as it dries out. We have a dustpan and stuff, but I, I don't want to put, you get it? Yeah. He's nodding, yeah. Anyways, so I'm probably going to run downstairs and... You're leaving, you said? You're leaving at 3 or are you going to be there at 3? Leaving around 3. Leaving around 3. Alright, I will sort some cardboard and then we can maybe both take that down and whatnot. Kind of make a day of the cleansing. Okie dokie, so what we're looking at here is I want to get rid of this box, but it's got a bunch of packing material in it. These things we can figure out what to do with. We can even shove them over in a corner, uh, like back there where that box is. Um, got my map there. <laughs> This is also like the weird utility room. This is so we don't have to worry about these things rusting. Um, it's a heater in case there's super wet clothing on here. But yeah. See what I mean? It's that uckum right in the corner there. But yeah, at least it drained. So at least we know next time that the pipe is not. But yeah, so I'm gonna take down non stati held and all the six packs of beer cardboard that I've caught plus like tons of other small shipping things that we've gotten over the years well like this has our uh, 
air filters in it and whatnot.